Hi, welcome to this episode of Gridiron TV. I'm your host, Stuart Young, and I'm joined by Alan Price. And on tonight's show, we're going to be discussing the, the fallout from Brit Bowl a couple of weeks ago. We're going to be talking about each divisional game and showing you highlights from those games. Yeah, and then we're also going to touch briefly on the University League that's coming up. So uh, have a quick chat about the teams uh, and what to expect. So don't go away, Gridiron TV. We'll be right back. Back to Gridiron TV. I'm your host Stuart Young, and again we're joined by Alan Price. Well, Alan, the Brit Bowl's finished for one year. Yeah, a good a, time. An amazing weekend. Uh, I can't believe how exciting it was. Uh, it was our first attempt at a live broadcast, and uh, the feedback we got was amazing. So thank you all for watching. You know, all mm -hmm. your comments and uh, well wishes. But yeah, a great weekend of football. We had uh, some really exciting matches, uh, culminating in that prem final, and yeah, it was just just fantastic all around. And it's. It's kind of a shame that it's gone now. We're sort of back to, to regular action, uni season coming up. Um, but yeah, it was great. I'm sure the uni season will be very exciting, obviously, and we'll, we'll touch on that briefly at the end of the show. But uh, let's talk about the games at hand. I mean, we started off the weekend with one of the best games of football I'd actually think I've ever seen in Brit Bowl. Yeah. We had the Peterborough Saxons against the Sheffield Predators in, in, in overtime as well. Yeah, it was a, an amazing start. You, you'd normally maybe expect a, a slow build up to the end, but no, everyone was, was really shocked by that, really impressed by the quality of football as well. Uh, like you said, two excellent teams who've really been dominant all year. Mm -hmm. uh, Saxons taking the lead early on, so. Uh, they, they kind of looked impressive form, but to the Predators' credit, they, they came back. Uh, they kind of stuck with their uh, a, a unique offense, we'll say, and something that a lot of teams haven't seen before. Mm -hmm. um, so certainly an adjustment for Peterborough. Uh, they just kept driving, kept working, uh, moved the ball down the field, uh, forced a tie at the end, and then, like you said, overtime. So. Um, and unfortunately yeah. as well, it was, it was delayed due to uh, thunder and lightning, unfortunately. So yeah. it was a good 45 minutes as well. And it must have thrown the teams off the... Their, you know, momentum a little bit as well. But in all credit to them, yeah. they came back out there and they provided just an even more an excellent game of football. Yeah, it's almost like a, a second half time, really. Uh, you, you have to come in, you have to settle down, discuss any tactics you've seen already, what of the other team, uh, work out uh, what you think they're going to be doing. And it, like you said, it can uh, break your momentum, but it can work to your advantage if you know how to keep yourself composed as, as an individual and as a team. Mm -hmm. uh, but then you also get that chance to discuss tactics in full depth with the coaches and then go out and uh, take advantage of it. Yeah, and obviously, you know, going into overtime as well, and, you know, the Saxons got the first drive, unfortunately couldn't convert, but as soon as Sheffield got the ball, they were, their, their offence was so effective again. Yep, so it's just consistency, just keep working, keep working, keep working, and eventually they got it. So, you know, it's, it's obviously something they've been working for all year, and mm -hmm. you know, just kind of, we've, we spoke to Coach Batty throughout the year, and then also at the game, so he's kind of very, all about just keep working, getting the guys focused, and, and keep working until they get the victories. Mm -hmm. Well. We've got some highlights from the Peterborough Saxons and the Sheffield Predators game for you right now. Well, that's a kick-off by the Saxons, an excellent kick-off as well. And the, the running back picks it up in his own end zone, and he's tackled, and he's tackled on his own four-yard line. Well, quite a dangerous field position, Derek, isn't it? I mean, four-yard line is not absolutely ideal, really, in a kick-off. You want to be getting to the... 20 yard line minimum to give yourself a bit of yeah, right through the middle 22 is on his run 22 is off yeah, he's oh, running good tackle 40 yard line breaks him down fantastic run Sachs is getting hand it off and he's stopped uh, I think he stopped stopped his full momentum uh, before, just uh, before he got the first down so yeah, that's not obviously fourth I down I think now. it'll be uh, the chains out on this one I think they I might so. uh, it's very very close an inch, uh, an inch short possibly Yes, and just shot. It's an end oh, shot. Yeah. Well, the Predators now in the end zone. No, the end zone, sorry, the red zone's a big problem. And he goes out to there, and he's caught. Uh, is he in? No, he's been tackled. And I tell you what, great catch, but it was good pursuit by the defence there, making sure good coverage. Yes, it stopped raining now. 
but it doesn't seem to be having an effect on the players. And the Predators are in for a yep. touchdown. First touchdown of the game for number 27 yes. of the uh, Sheffield Predators. Pass. And it looks like they go for the two points as well. I mean, why not? They're full of confidence. And they get it. Yep. Absolutely fantastic. Walk straight into the end zone there. You know, a pass play. Well, it'll be interesting to see what the Saxons do here on this kickoff, and they get it on their own uh, four yard line. It's a great run. Straight up to the 17 yard line for the Saxons. It's not a bad start. Cornerbacks are tight on the, the receivers, expecting a pass here, and it is a pass. Ball's aired, but no, it was incomplete there for the Saxons. That's now third down. And another pass. So again, they're going to air it up. Oh, he's clear this time if he can get it. Oh, oh, that's great coverage. Just put a hand out there, number nine. Well, let's see what the Saxons do now. They throw it, hear it. Great reception here by the Saxons. Nine really need to this. try and go for the first down now. Try and get Another to the red pass. zone as quick as it possible. And it is, it's in the air. It's coming down. Great oh, reception. Great catch. Oh, and he's going to make it. Touchdown 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 for the Saxons. Oh, fantastic catch. Seen the player coming. Little twist around him. Great touchdown. There we go. Back in the ball game. Let's see what the, uh, the Saxons get that extra point. And it's no good. No good. Oh, oh, it's oh the yes. It's, it's up in the air. Oh, oh, it's accepted. He's got it. Number four. Oh, there we go. That's Fantastic. Plenty of space for the wide receivers. So perfect for a short route. But they go for it. Oh, and he slips. Oh, oh. it's intercepted. It was nearly intercepted. Here, they're almost here for a second touchdown. Can they do it? And they do. They go for the run. And it's it. Touchdown, touchdown. Saxon. <laughs> Two point advantage. Let's see if they can get this. And they go out wide. But there's a lot of coverage there. And this tackle is brought down by Sheffield. Yeah, good. Again, good defensive pursuits there. And you make sure we give a credit to British football. And they have been. This is exactly what we've seen. Again, the throw Pass to number 10. The middle, number He's 10. In surely for the touchdown. Touchdown, yes. Sheffield. Touchdown. 14, Peterborough 12. They're going for the two point conversion. Oh, it's a falling shot. He's been stopped. He's forward direct. Four momentum's been stopped. Yep. Yard line. You don't want to be here. You don't, you don't not want to be there. They're, they're going for the pass this time. time. There, there is a man. Oh, he's oh, picked off. He's right into it. Is he going to die then? Oh. He's in. He's no, he's gone out in the one. He's Wherever you are in the world, please contact us. Let us know you're watching. Tell us where you're watching it from. And they're in. They're in for the touchdown for the Saxons. Let's see if we can get this one. Throws it in. And it's oh, caught. And his two point conversion yes. is good. Yeah. I can see this going right in the middle of the field. Yeah, pass. Throws it up. Skies it. Big against small here. No. Oh, it's flag. Looks like flag. It looks like. Roll out for the quarterback to the right. He's a keep. Is he going to go himself? He's going. Yes. He's in. Arm tackle. Oh! It's touchdown. He's got touchdown, Sheffield. Mark Austin looking to go for the extra point here for Sheffield. Kicks it. Is it good? It looks like it's through in the middle. And it's good for Sheffield. Down. They're on the uh, Predators 37 yard line. Thrown down the middle on the slant in the airport. The Saxons is in. He's in for a touchdown, Saxon. A couple of missed tackles here by, by the Sheffield defence here. Well, they're going to go for the extra point here, the Saxons. It looks like the kick is good. So David yeah, Saul looking to throw. To oh, oh, no. Oh, it's up for grabs. Oh, he's picked. He's picked again. On the Saxons 40-yard line. He's running back. Just bring it down. And when I mean, that came down with snow on it, Derek. Job. Try and get the ball back for the offence. Try and spin it back up again. Another right nice pass. Lovely oh, pass. Great reception for the Saxons. He's out of bounds on the seven yard line. Oh, fumble snapped by the Saxons. The quarterback's dropped it, but he regains massive loss of yards there. They've been positive about it. And Bad that snap, looks and I think. Good. They can have to go. Still down to six for the Saxons. Choose to throw. Oh, it's oh, in the hands. Great Reception. Just now. They are on a roll. And they really are on a roll. It's so difficult to stop again. He goes for the receivers out there. Oh! Oh, oh it looks wide to me. Yes, that's yeah, wide. It's, it's wide. no good. Nine points in it. 30 points to 21 to uh, Peterborough Saxons. Make 
Back to the pass here, again, round it, Except lovely pass again. Cut Chill back in. He's cut back inside. He's dropped down, he's holding off, hand off. He's so, but they got the 35 yard field goal down. They'll get down the snap, the slap, side good. Well. And it's a good kick and... It's good. In favour yes. of Sheffield. Well, we'll see. see. They're still passing the ball. Another one Sanders right across the middle. Great, great pass again. Arm tackle. Oh. 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 And off to the Saxon. Oh. Right, he's, 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 he's closed down. Coming to backfield, two points. And it's a safety. Quarterback keep. It certainly is. Touchdown. Looks like it could be in. It's touchdown, Sheffield. As much as he can, but the offense really need to come up with something. Sweep out to the left. Yep. Ah, he's in. And he's in. He's in for the two points. For Sheffield. Oh, come and win this. Oh, fumble on the catch there. Picked it up. Picked it back Got up. It now. Let's see if we can get the blocks in play. There's just no blocks. He's been... Oh, he's oh. Got arm he's... tackled again, but uh, too many players around. Stopped at the four ah, yard line. Dangerous field position to be in. Let's see what the Saxons caught back. Oh, he's fumbled. Has it, Has it been recovered? Safety. Oh, oh, that's another safety. There you go. So, ladies and gentlemen, it looks like we're going to be heading to overtime here in Don Valley Stadium. Whoa, what a finish to a great game of football. It's absolutely incredible. Let's sweep out to the left. Good blocking there by number nine, by David Salt. They can do it, they can punch it home and win this Division Two title. Flipped out the running back. He's Again, it comes wide. Right. Like Defence chase and he's in. Touch day, touch Sheffield game. Predators there we go. are Sheffield Division winner. Two Sheffield champions. Winner. That'd be, a, that'd be a long walk up for the Saxons there, you know, they feel disappointed. Will be, that, yeah, uh, it's just too... Uh, and, uh, a big thank you to everybody, I say again, you know, we've had a thousand viewers today on Gridiron TV, a first, and it's, you know, again, credit to our, our fans, Derek, a thousand viewers, and it's not only Britain, we mentioned people from Canada, Sudan, South Africa, Egypt, Norway, Australia, America. Get your nearest club, because this could be you in a few years. Go through the official handshake and medals ceremony. But I think you can see the trophy in the background. There we go, lifting up the trophy. Captain number 86. Hi, welcome back to Gridan TV. I hope you, you enjoyed the highlights of the Division 2 final. Well, Alan, let's move on to Division 1. Again, mm -hmm. another hotly contested final here with the Sussex Thunder and West Coast Trojans. Yep. But, I mean, played in absolutely diabolical conditions. No, if people thought the Division 2 final was bad with the disruptions, it was, yeah. it was just terrible. Uh, lightning strikes right near the stadium, so again, it got postponed and delayed and uh, interrupted. And even when they were playing, it was clear to see that the rain was, was kind of really affecting teams. Uh, especially the Trojans, who have a very effective passing offense. Mm -hmm. uh, a lot of fumbled catches, fumbled snaps. Uh, and we saw it came down to a couple of safeties in the end uh, that, that turned out for Sussex. So, again, really difficult to handle in, in those conditions and just really spoils your games plan. It was. I mean, you've got to give credit as well, though, with Sussex Thunder. They did play a good game of football. Yeah. They made sure that they didn't give anything away. You know, they took out the threat of Tom McGeorge and, and it was a receiver as well. Mm -hmm. And obviously, when the bad snaps came for the Trojans, you know, Gary McNeil, you know, he did do well to try and cover it to, you know, to stop the touchdown. But, yep. you know, at the end of the day, the good thing about the defence is they were on it. And you know, yep. you just didn't get a chance to pick it up and run with it. Yeah, just pursuing the ball. Uh, mm -hmm. Like I said, giving up two points is bad, but it's not as bad as giving up six. So uh, it's not Very too bad. True. And it just turned out to be a really low scoring game. So mm -hmm. it would be one or two mistakes that would, would cost the team ultimately. But Sussex did play well. Uh, they managed to keep the ball moving as well as stopping the Trojans. And as you mentioned, you know, first time I've ever seen a, a game of football, one on two safeties. <laughs> yeah, it's unusual, isn't it? Uh, you normally see uh, the, the big long 60 yard pass to win it or 
um, something like that. But no, it's, it's, it, it was almost... It was certainly an exciting game, uh, but it was almost a downer when you looked at the, the Division 2 with such a high-scoring and dynamic game, yeah. uh, and in the weather just taking this, this game as a victim, essentially. I mean, people didn't, weren't disappointed in watching it in the stands. You're speaking to some spectators um, on the Saturday night, and people really enjoyed watching the game, but they weren't, they weren't, they weren't, I think they were expecting an explosion of touchdowns and, 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 you know, and great receiving plays and, and running plays, but it just didn't come because the ball, as I kept on saying on commentary, was, was yeah. like a bar of soap. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, a lot of people have seen these teams. They, they knew what to expect, mm. and uh, the, the teams will try and adapt. But it's, uh, it it, it's it's a game of chance almost at times. Uh, you think you've got it, and then mm -hmm. you know, the ball disappears, and it's it's in the other team's hands before you know. It's going to happen, as you know. Again, like the first game, errors. If we cut the errors out, you know, from start. No errors. I got to be a really good game of football again. One match to win the final, so good kick off. Excellent kick off, picked up on the uh, three yard line for the Trojans, number two. Ah, it's a good run there, he's just. Uh, Excellent run. Again, Barry McNeil, fake, uh, oh, nice fake pump. Some Again, good off the Trojan Fault, there's yeah. a flag on there the field. There's a flag on the plate, he's going Trojan Fault, there's a touchdown! Trojan! Trojan Fault, but there's a flag down. It's very, very disciplined. Wait, there we go, see what's happening. It's up Here's in the air. Good coverage it's by the defence. Oh, well done. Excellent yeah. coverage by the cornerback. Gary looks up. Man's open. Well open. Put, first down. Two. Excellent and, yes. catch. First down. Sussex 27 yard line. Gary Neal looks up quickly. Pumps. Through the middle Thanks again. Thanks Colin McDonald's through the middle. First down Trojans. Yeah, another. Gary just changing the play as they go. Balls up. Balls up. And and touchdown. touchdown Trojans. So Rudy McDonald with a touchdown for the Trojans. McDonald with a kick. Looks good. Oh, big pun, it wasn't with my daughter. Yes. It's good to see. Oh, jumped oh, offside. It yeah. yeah, looks like defence have jumped offside. Free play. Oh. Free play here. Yeah, see. It's so slippy under. Going for a pass. Oh, it's gone out. Yeah. Shot. Just try and settle the cell. Two backs here. Well, it's up. Goes for the pass. Over up. the top. Close oh, it. Part of the Trojans. He cuts across him. Oh, he's one. He's just got his shirt and he does bring him down. Save it over to the other side. Takes a snap, looks over. Throws to there. David oh, Fallon no, again. He's, he's just short. Excellent oh, reception by David Fallon. Yeah. Looks up. Looks to Rudy McDonald. Comes back in. Bounds. Oh, and he's oh. just short for Rudy McDonald. Okay, looks up. Try to pick out his receiver. Oh, it's in and out the hands. Got to suck it up and carry on. So here we go, Trojans. Got the football. Oh, fantastic run. Skates along the bottom. No. Yeah, nothing yeah. you can do. Absolutely is. So the Sussex Thunder line up. First and ten. Got it for a run straight down the throat of the, uh, the West Coast Trojans defense. Okay, so it's first down, the Thunder, again, trying to pump up the middle, and they do. Excellent, another first down by the Thunder. And get them an they'll get in, half you know, at half time. Yep. And it's touchdown, and it touchdown. No flag, Thunder. Takana, Shizango. Yeah, great touchdown there. Just have to get a good uh, snap, which it has been. And it's oh, blocked. it's blocked by the Trojans' defence. Oh, and it's almost 
getting the call back, looks up, tries to find the receiver number seven. And it's just too high for him there. Let's see if we can get a good punt away. A long snap. Decent oh, snap, but he just snaps it straight to, uh, for the player's hands. He's, he's not made it. it. He's I not don't think he's made it. Is he just <laughs> you never know. You never Donald know with the... No, he's, no, going, he's for going for it. it. Who's he looking for? Number eight to two. Oh, he's just three hands, hands again. Another good run there. Great Kenny run by six. Jamal. Yeah. Whatever age, I think 14 is the start for the uh, kid. Or, you know, like. Almost she doesn't like football. <laughs> Ball's up and it's centre uh, It's picked, picked by the Trojans again. And Sussex, I was just trying to strip that football. There's a battle for the football there. Yeah. I'll just end up punting from here. Again, quite a low snap there actually. Uh, Gary McNeil done really well. Oh, it's, oh. Again, same player. Thunder will get the ball back. Okay, so uh, Guy McNay punts away, good punt. Rolls out, rolls down to the uh, 15 yard line. Missed tackle. Another missed ta three missed tackles. Mm. And eventually get him. Uh, eventually get him on the 32 32. yard line. Four, four, four down in distance. He ain't taking risks here. Oh, it's a bad snap. Oh, it's your cover, it's blocked. Oh. Who's got the football? It's a safety. It's a safety. Two. That's two points to the Thunder. That's it. They're in the lead by one, so. That would need line up shotgun. Another low snap there by the, by the centre. Oh, oh great, great catch. reception for the Trojans. Oh, Number fantastic two, Rooney McDonald. Flag flag down. Flags up first. And what's the flag, though? Flag Let's down. see what the flag is. Oh, the guy's the offence. Again, he's fumbled it. I said, oh, safety. safety. two points. I just said to you, I just said to you, it's a dangerous position. And what do they do? They get another safety. Yeah. See what they can do here. Low snap, Low snap again. again. Guy McNeil picks up, goes Pops it. Looks over, sees Tom McGeorge, and it's a complete perception for Tommy. Yeah. Really he's going to get a great snap here. He has to get a snap to get it. No, that's it, game over. Incomplete pass, it's all over here. The champions of Division 1 are the uh, Sussex Thunder. Many congratulations, I'm sure everybody at home there will be watching. You couldn't make it to the finals. Big congratulations to your team. So it's uh, West Coast just uh, going up to get their medals. Valent performance by them. Just a few mistakes uh, during the game, but uh, long trip up and uh, hope they enjoy themselves this evening. And Thunder getting their medals now, go through them all. Big squad, Thunder. Very shortly, the trophy will be uh, given to the winners. Yeah, I think you heard that Jashal Sango is the MVP for the Thunder. Nice uh, plate there for that. Scored the touchdown. The Sussex Thunder. Yeah, Sussex Thunder with their trophy. Well deserved. Division 1 finalist. Well done, Sussex Thunder. Welcome back to Gridiron TV. Alan, let's move on to the Premier Final with yeah. London Blitz against the London Warriors. We expected, you know, the two amazing teams mm -hmm. up against each other. The London Blitz won it the year before yep. uh, by 20 points. And, you know, 10 and 0 Warriors. You didn't know where this one was going to go, no. but then the Warriors just didn't show up. No, and um, if you see the, the, the interview you had with uh, Coach Allen afterwards, you mm -hmm. kind of reflected that point as well. Uh, there was a lot of talk about them being best in the country and being 
uh, on top, defeating the Blitz before, so uh, I, you know everybody assumed it would happen again, but you know they, they didn't quite show up. Uh, Blitz came out as they always do, um, just kept working with their system, um, mm -hmm. put, put points on early and stayed ahead. Yeah, so was, was well, I've seen I've seen the Blitz play a couple of weeks before when they played East Coast Pirates mm -hmm. uh, through in Hamilton, and um, to be fair, you know it was, it was an equally matched game. You know, but when I see Fred Boyle lead his offense the way he did in that game. It was like, you know, I'm not saying anything wrong with uh, Jerome Allen. Jerome Allen played a, a really good game at quarterback, but mm -hmm. unfortunately they didn't show up. But then Fred Boyle was at that level above him, and he, he rightfully won the MVP award. Yeah, they've got a great unit uh, on offence, especially on, on D as well. They, they, they do all kinds of different things on defence, and, and the coaches work it brilliantly. Uh, so they just know how to work well together. Mm -hmm. uh, they know how to connect for passing. Um, the running offence is great as well. So it's, it's, a, it's a full full system they've got in place, mm -hmm. and it's... It, it just just showed on the day. Uh, they, they turned up. They they got points on early. They got the momentum going early, and they just didn't let the Warriors in at all. I mean, the Warriors came back. They got a couple of touchdowns um, in the second half, yeah. and I thought, well, here we go, game on. It looked like that, and it looked like that. And it, but they just went downhill again, and it was just like they get this sudden burst, and all of a sudden, it, they mm -hmm. just get dominated by the Blitz again, and the Blitz just came back and punished them again, and again and again. You know, what I mean, Tony Allen said that he's like, we just didn't turn up. Yep. we couldn't quite put his finger on it. But then, you know, I thought, I thought they'd done quite well in the second half. I thought they'd the better second half than they had the first. Yeah, they certainly must have learned a lot from the first half, uh, all their, their mistakes and what they didn't do and mm -hmm. came out. And they, they did have a good run, uh, but then just sort of let it slide again. Uh, we said it in the semi-finals that the, the Warriors have had a, a probably a, a slightly easier run in terms of bigger scores in their victories. Mm -hmm. uh, like you said, the Pirates and the Blitz, the, the Blitz had to come back, uh, quite, a, quite a narrow victory at the end there, mm -hmm. had to come back from behind. So that would have put them in, in better stead for... Uh, you know, being able to keep a, a lead and just keep their head level and, and yeah. Again, yeah. Well, there we go. So we've got uh, highlights now from the Premier League game between the London Blitz and the London Warriors. Arriving, we were down on the uh, pitch watching both teams warm up and had the camera down there as well, getting some footage for everybody. Now. Those no stats just do not count now. That's right, it's a one-off game now. That's who so wants it the most today. Exactly, it's, a, it's, it's the final. It's a one-off. Whoever you know, gets more points wins the game. And, and it was uh, a good side, as you said, the Warriors. You just have to keep battling away. And it will come, you know, your defence will come through in the end if you keep battling, do your discipline and uh, make your tackles go up, tack them upright, you know, and keep good uh, field position as well. So, yeah. I mean, we've been here two days now, we've seen three games so far, and every one has put... And it's right into his arms, and the Wade is uh, taking place, he falls away straight to the middle, but he changes direction, comes out wide. There were 33 tries to block, but just, you know, unfortunately, he gets brought down, that's all right. So here's Jerome Allen, he's looking through his picks. Almost sacked there by the Blitz uh, defence. That was James Cherry with the reception. Jerome Allen. Scrambles. Looking for a receiver. Oh, oh incomplete. Well. Great coverage from the safety there. Early start here in their uh, first offensive drive. Got a good handoff there, gets good yardage down the middle. Balls up Balls in the air. Up. A great catch. Great reception for London Blitz. Yeah. Rob there. Rob, Rob Bradley. Bradley. Rob at the back here. Okay, he looks Pass wide to number 12. He's got Andrew Cropper. He's in for a touchdown blitz. Touchdown called. First blood to the blitz there. Great little drive there. He takes Picks that down the one yard line. line. Runs it back. Oh, block in the back there. And number 99 of the Warriors. Marching up the field. So hand it off to Jackson there. Looks like he's got a gain of about. Uh, they're doing well. The, the players coming through the middle. They're getting a hold of him, but he's, he's quite a strong running back. And he's see here. Look at the best tackles. You know, there you go. He's looking for receivers. Picks out number eleven. Oh, Marvin great Allen. There. Great reception, Marvin Allen. Oh, he's fumbled it. He's got back on it again. He's picked it up. Blitz pursuit really good there. Number 11 in the tackle, uh, Marvin Allen. It's second and 11 for the Blitz. Oh, we've seen Andrew Steadman oh, there. Just fantastic pass right over the middle there. Third 
Sheffield. Well, looks up for his receiver, number 84. Touchdown blitz, Thomas Shannon. Jerome Allen waiting for the snap. Looks up, looking for his open receiver. And he finds him on the far side, number 11. Great reception there for Marvin Allen. So there's Jerome Allen, takes a snap, hands off Jermaine Allen. Jermaine Allen makes a great move, great tackle by number 15 for the blitz. Some while looking through his picks. Finds his open receiver downfield. Oh, great reception for the London Warriors. Romain Jackson. Oh, dive into the end zone. Is he in? the quarterback and try and sack him, try and get a fumble? No, Touchdown, no, Warriors! No. Jermaine Allen. Taken in by uh, James Cherry. Goes the outside, comes back inside again. He's dropped the football. Ooh. Dropped the football. They were very, very lucky that uh, Dwayne Jackson came in there to recover that ball. How you doing, Mick? Oh, unlucky. First down Warriors. On the 44 yard line. So Allen taking the snap straight to Jermaine Allen. Again, you know, he's eating up. So Allen looking for his wide open receiver. Oh, he's got a wide open receiver. He picks up Marvin Allen with the reception. And he's brought down. Oh. So obviously, seen something in the defence there. He's looking up. He's making his selection for the receivers. Wide open and ends on. Oh! Oh, great reception there. Completed pass. Oh, he handed it off there to Jermaine Allen, but he stopped in his tracks. Great offensive drive by the Warriors. Hands the ball off to his running back, makes good distance. He's broke two tackles. And he's got the first down. Again, the blitz hand off to the running back. Oh! Number 12 goes in motion, Andrew Cropper. Pit Boyle dodges one tackle, looks for his receiver wide open down the field, number six. Great reception for Charles Joseph. Pit Boyle takes uh, the snap, hands it off to his running back. Number 23, Gareth Dooley. Takes snap, looking for his open receiver on the far side, number 11, uh, Rob Bradley. And the touchdown, 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 Rob Bradley. Yeah, good reception by Bradley there. Offense takes a snap, heads up, looking for a receiver on the far side. And he's wide fantastic open. Ball. He's lining, he's uh, just making sure they're all set and ready. We've got trips out to the right here. Okay, looking for an open receiver, he's got number 84 in the backfield, touched it. Oh! Approaching half time. Oh, a uh, terrible nice snap, snap there. It's in the end zone. Ian Jacquet puts it straight through the back of the end zone. So that's two and points. And that's a safety, two points for the Blitz. In motion. Andrew Cropper. So he starts scrambling, looking for an open receiver, he finds Andrew him. Cropper, Cropper grabs open. it. Oh, he oh just so unlucky. Your side. Again, fakes a pump. Straight to Gareth Dooley, he's open, he's wide he's open. He's, he's into the end zone, touchdown, yeah, Dooley for the great Blitz. Run. Absolutely great run. Showed the four wide, wide receivers and they've run it up the middle. Big gap. So Jerome Allen just uh, scrambles to the right there. He's got pursued by the Blitz defence. It goes out of bounds. Fred Boyle take, looking to take the snap. He's got the uh, four receivers out in the field at the moment. Throws it. High, almost picked off. So Fred Boyle takes the snap. Comes out his pocket, scrambles right. Oh, good block. Just over a minute left till the half. Jerome Allen finds the receiver on the far side. He's got uh, the boys got three receivers out here on this uh, this near side. Jerome Allen. Oh, and ten receiver number eighty. Emmanuel Mukoro. Still got the ball. He's, he's coming inside field. So Ian Jacquet kicks off for the second half of this uh, Premier League final. Ali with a good run up the middle. 
Jackie to kick it out here. He's got the end zone in his sights. Here he goes. 20, 10, goal line, touchdown. No flags on the play. What a great start to the second half. That's a great kick from Luke. It's picked up by number 13, Dwayne Jackson, who returns it back to the 24-yard uh, line. They can come back. So there's uh, Jerome Allen. Allen fakes the handoff. And shuttle pass there to... Uh, so past the wings. He's had uh, you know, seven completed attempts uh, from 12. He looks up, he's oh, in the pocket. Oh, he's, oh, he's sacked. sacked. Just had to go back in the pocket. And uh, three more. And he got the final touchdown and he managed to you know, progress to this final yet again. So, oh, up. so Jerome Allen for the 10 receiver. Touchdown, Emmanuel Makuro. Oh, no, he didn't quite get it. Yeah, just put his knee down. So Jerome Allen now. Looking for his receivers who, uh, oh, he's takes a slip and it's intercepted. <laughs> his receivers, he's got four receivers on his offence. Looking for the pass. Looking to number six, he's wide open, uh, Charles Joseph. And they're going to have to look at their plans all over oh, again. Bad, just like, uh, bad snap there, it's like, oh, Jerome Allen tries to catch it. It's been recovered by the blitz. Oh no, he was, down, he was down in contact there, two yards away from the end zone. Wow, that's absolutely devastating, isn't it? Welcome. So Derek, we look here, it's uh, the blitz uh, on the pass. Oh, unlucky. Intended receiver there was uh, Andrew Cropper. With, with Sheffield. So Jerome Allen hands it off to his running back. He makes good uh, yardage here for about five yards. So second and five now. A great run by the Warriors there. A good handoff there by Jerome Allen. Pitch out to the back. Great tackle there by uh, Charles Bradley. Again, Jerome Allen. You know, just you know, moves away for that tackle. Oh, unlucky, he moves away for that tackle. Really. Oh, yeah. And I can see them, you know, back next year. And they will go straight to strength. Oh, great tackle there on number twenty. Bit too short, so now we'll give a full kick. It's better uh, for him, absolutely. Be yeah. Good snap, and he's uh, a good air time on that. He gets it down to the with the 20-yard line. Oh, he's well, touched that. It's recovered by the Blitz. Blitz have got it back there. James Wyatt here with the uh, field goal. And that is but, good. Um, you know, it, it, it's, it, when, they, when they beat us there, it's, it, it's difficult to sound genuine when you're talking that. But, the, uh, uh, you know, he's really come on there. That's a great carry from this. Echo. So he's uh, good as all oh, in and out of the hands there. It's good, but when it doesn't work, it just uh, can be You've got, you've got to give uh, credit to the, the Blitz defence for so closing him quickly and making Most sure he's definitely. not going to get an easy catch. But Ekog again definitely. gets the first down for the uh, Warriors. to see him um, making it work. So it's a wee bit, uh, Wide work. open in the end zone. That's a nice pass. A really, really nice pass. Welcome an awful Emily lot of work for every level of football, yep. and not only uh, not only the Wolves, oh, the Knights, he's fumbled out there. So we fumble on the plate. On the blitz. Let's see who's there. Uh, Universal. Oh. Warriors have got the ball here. 24 yards I'll out. 23 what. yards out. The union smack. So Jerome Allen's intended receiver looks like a good reception. Not a stick for the little things that go wrong, but don't forget the bigger picture. You yeah, know, we exactly. have a league to play in. Oh, he's Blade caught early there by... Uh, Absolutely drilled by the middle linebacker. Yeah, we've got third down there. Uh, third down here. Let's Going see deep again. Touchdown. Great touchdown for... Touchdown Warriors. The Warriors, Emmanuel Makuro yet again. So they've, they've had a lot of success from that, so good job. Looks like they're uh, going to go for Toss the touchdown. He looks wide open, that's in. Two points. Nice yeah, job. Dwayne Jackson with the uh, two-point conversion. Right, we're coming out of eye formation again. One of the things I love about Fred, having watched him play in Europe, is... Uh, he used to do this absolutely classic two-handed point. Whenever the defense he was playing against were, were, were running two safeties high, he would do this two-handed point, which we uh, understand what it takes to grind out a win. So, yeah. Especially when you go to Europe as well. It's never any easy games over on the continent. Nice job. That's a lead play there. Full-back straight through the yeah. B-gap on the left-hand side. Yeah, they've got maybe five guys on there. They punt the ball yeah. away. Great punt there by uh, James Wyatt again. 
And if they can pin them here, he's got to make the attempt to this yeah, is the beauty. Great tackle by Rod Bradley. Bradley. What a guy. Absolutely fantastic. He's controlled their offense so well today. And he's been so effective. And you now he's thrown for, you know. Oh, interception by the Blitz. Takes a, knee. Down, takes a knee. Excellent discipline, number 33 for the Blitz. Good job. And you know, all credit to the Warriors, you know, they were way behind in this game and they've managed to try. Oh, excellent game. coaches, and don't get me wrong, that's just the tip of the iceberg with these teams. Is your, your head coach, OC and DC, have got a plethora of guys working underneath them, and you know, they've done a great job, a really, really great job, and huge respect to them. Yeah, absolutely. And, do you know, I think this is one that it takes to win at this level is, uh, you know, you have to be there, you have to be involved in it. And you have to be able to, uh, you know, you have to be able to compete at that level. And I think at the moment, the Warriors, a lot of their players came through the, the junior setup that they have there. And as a result, they're, they're not necessarily as experienced at that level. The Warriors have been there. You know, the opportunities are there and there are outstanding coaches. I mean, there are probably 20 of the best coaches in Britain out there on the field just now consoling their guys or congratulating their guys and letting them know what's what's involved in playing the sport this level to be well organised and it, for, for somebody who's not been involved in the game to watch it just be like well they're just a group of guys that wear stripey shirts and totally change the British game so I really appreciate everything Thank thanks you very, very much. much appreciate it thank you take care cheers mate cheers buddy I will catch up for the rest of Warriors uh, just getting the medals, the runners up. Uh, a gallant performance by the Warriors. And a great crowd today at Don Valley. And there's uh, just handing out all the, the trophies, the medals to the runners up. And I'm sure they'll be back next year fighting for the title. Once again, I'd like to thank all the people from Dun Valley for all the help. Uh, we received in the last uh, over the weekend, and for all the people all worldwide that uh, linked up to the live link and watched this great uh, weekend of football. But if you want to get involved in American football, just log on to Gridiron TV, and there's a list of teams. In your area, just click on the team and there'll be the contacts there. of the Warriors going through, collecting the medals. And now the coaching staff. Character roster to take their uh, winning medals. Congratulations, the London Blitz. Remember, stay tuned, we'll have some interviews after the trophy ceremony.
I'd like to hear your feedback on uh, this weekend from Gridiron TV. So just post on our gridirontv.com or Twitter or email us. The last of the coaches coming through, collecting their winner's medals. Great job the backstreet staff do it with all the clubs in Britain. And the four captains, team captains, uh, receiving their medals. Yes, well deserved MVP of the game. Fantastic sculpted trophy rack. 2012 Brit Bowl winners, national champions, London Blitz. Welcome back. There's some great highlights from the Premiership final there, and congratulations to all the teams that made it through to Brit Bowl, including the youth and the flag football teams that made it that were playing outside the mm -hmm. main stadium. So we never got a yeah. chance to see them on the day, but congratulations to all those that took part and to the winners especially. So that's the National Leagues uh, done and dusted for another year. We're, we're going to miss it, but uh, coming up soon we've got the University Leagues as well. So Stuart, we've got the uh, BU AFL coming mm -hmm. up. We we saw them. Uh, earlier in the year, the, the four teams that made the final. So what do you expect from this year? Well, to be honest, it's, it's, it's a bumper year, really. They've got 75 teams, mm -hmm. so most of them have ever been. So it goes to show you the fact that, that university football is growing you know, every year. Plus, on the, on the big bonus, is, is Bucks. 
You know, they've got box involvement now as well, which is yeah. so beneficial to a lot of universities with likes of funding. When we look at, you know, the Stirling Klansman, for instance, they've got a new 4G pitch up there, up in the Stirling campus. So it's things like that that teams will be able to try and you know, utilise and to improve their programmes and whatnot as well. So. Yeah, absolutely. And, uh, the, the coverage is growing as well within universities. Uh, teams looking to promote themselves more, and um, um, sports uh, associations actually recognising them more. Exactly, like I said, yeah. with boxing as well as with their internal systems. Mm -hmm. uh, hopefully, giving the teams more support, more coverage. That's going to bring them more fans and more players. And we've already seen all the teams out recruiting right now. Mm -hmm. uh, some of them are already doing some unofficial workouts and sort of gym sessions to get their veterans returned, and then also trying to recruit guys yeah. of the freshers coming in. Well, that's a key thing you mentioned, there, Alan. Is for universities, and you know, we speak to some people we know within the area, and you know some coaches we know from from universities such mm -hmm. as the Predators and and, and, the, and Napier Knights. The, the key is, is Freshers Week. Yeah. There's an absolute key where they try and get rugby players involved. They try and get people from who have never probably never played sports before. Yeah. Is to try and get that interest and a general interest. Because if you don't want to play, you can volunteer for the teams. Mm -hmm. You can come along support the teams. And I think Fresher Weeks for all universities is one of the key weeks in the whole of the, the season. And if you don't do that, then, then well, you know you, you don't have the depth. Um, that you need to, to get yourself through the year. Yeah, and so. one of the challenges that the university football faces is the, the length of the pre-season. Uh, a lot of senior teams have months and months to prepare, whereas right, yeah. if you've got freshers coming in kind of now in the next couple of weeks, you've only got a few weeks mm -hmm. to bring them up to speed, so it's really challenging for the coaches actually to get them up to a level. It is, but then you see a lot of the university teams, you know, like you've got Birmingham, you've got Hertfordshire Hurricanes, Stirling Klansmen, mm -hmm. the teams like that, who have all got returning veterans, and they've also got guys who play senior bowl as well. So you've got these this, this nucleus of guys who, who basically play in the Bafa National Leagues and then have a couple of weeks break and then it's back into it again for the Bafa season. Yeah. So they get no respite, mm -hmm. but then that, that, that experience that they bring, especially if they play the national final like Sheffield did, yeah. you know, it's, it's really important that they bring that, that, that knowledge into the, the freshers and really try and get them nailed down as quick as possible and, and, and get think, them up to speed. I think coaches are doing a better job at, at utilising that, um, getting yeah, guys experience, yeah. um, getting them to talk mm -hmm. to, to freshers and to rookies. And, mm -hmm. Uh, really bringing them all up to speed so that it, it makes the, the coach's job easier as well. You know, they've been able to have a kind of their, their starters and their backups at quite a close level so, mm -hmm. you know, they can just interchange them um, and not have any kind of drop off uh, in between your, your veteran guys and the guy who's been playing for, for two yeah. weeks and who's not sure of himself. Absolutely. But you see, you see it every, in every sport, you get your, your people coming through. But what I'm really interested in seeing is, um, you know, for instance, we saw the finals last year. We had the Hertfordshire Hurricanes against the, the Birmingham Lions, yep. uh, who um, Hertfordshire Hurricanes won the national final. Mm -hmm. In the plate game, we had the Sheffield uh, Sabres against the Bath Colour Bees. So it'd be really interesting to see how these teams cope because no doubt they'll have their graduates, people leaving the universities and getting new faces in. Yeah. But Birmingham are, are, are a regular are a regular in the finals every single year. Mm -hmm. So it'll be interesting to see if they're back in it again this year. Yeah. Again, the fact that Wayne Hill's obviously no longer the head coach there. So it's, uh, yeah, we're certainly looking forward to watching the progress of all the university teams. And uh, if you stay with us on Gridiron TV, we'll be covering it every week. Um, in the meantime, though, you can still get in touch with us, uh, send us questions, any comments or suggestions. You can go to Twitter, first of all. Uh, it's at Gridiron underscore TV, where you can follow all our announcements, as well as uh, send us any messages. And also, we're on Facebook. Well, just Facebook forward slash uh, Gridiron TV, where you'll get all the weekly updates from all the fixtures and all the links to our webpage. Yeah, and our webpage there is www.gridirontv.co.uk for all our previous episodes, as well as highlights from the National Leagues from this year and our upcoming highlights from the University League. And also, if you want your team involved and you want to get your programme mentioned on the show or you want to come on for, a, for an interview, you can just contact us on email at gridirontv at gmail.com. So, for myself and from Alan and from all here at Gridan TV, we'd like to thank you for supporting us through the Bafa National Leagues. But we're not finished there. We've got the Buafo season coming up, so stay tuned.